Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the featherweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 29 years old. He weighed in at 65.5 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has a record of eight wins and two losses. He is the 3FC champion. From the United States of America, please welcome Nate the Train Landwehr. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 65.2 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 13 wins, two losses with one draw. He is regional grappling champion, silver medalist of the regional MMA championship and master of sport in combat sambo, representing Arta team and Sesh Pro team, Mikhail Karabkov. And the referee for this bout, Vazislav Kishilov. Fighters, set up. Okay, you know rules. Three rounds, five minutes. Listen to my comments every time. Stay active all the time, okay? Dutch gloves. Back in place. In the featherweight division, Nate Landwehr of the United States versus Mikhail Korobkov of Russia. Судья, 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 время. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Round number one. Black trunks for Landwehr, blue trunks for Korobkov. Well, Landwehr's fired up, there's no denying that. Sometimes that can go against you. He could rush in a few things and get tagged, but it seems to be nice and calm here now. Low kick from Landwehr. Oh, he's just fired up, definitely, to go against the home Russian guy. Korobkov checking that low kick. Oh, a nice low kick again, buckled the leg. Korobkov immediately to the inside. Korobkov closes the distance. Nice turn by Landwehr. Korobkov as well as a striker, he, he likes the punch, so closing the gap, maybe he's just making Landwehr think a little bit. Landwehr missing with that low kick. Korobkov to the inside. Korobkov goes for an outside triple, miss it, tags him on the way out. And it's very high for Mihal Korobkov. Misses with that overhand right. Oh, not with Big that right one, hand. no, not with that one. Turn that over, flush. Faint with the right hand from Landwehr. Again. Outside kick from Korobkov. Look at the welt on the leg already of Landwehr. There's the outside trip again, he gets he it. Hits it. Gorgeous, right into side control. Now let's see what wrestling Landwehr has. No fighter likes to be on the back, but I'm sure he's drilled this. Push, pushes into half guard, full guard now. Butterfly. Half butterfly for Landwehr. He tried for a sweep there. Trying to sit up and through. Good work by Landwehr. And again with that trip. But back this to his time feet. He's mounted. He needs to push the leg through. There he goes, pushing it through. Try and get full mount. Back in the half guard. And we're again sitting up, sitting up into the guillotine. Needs to be careful. No real commitment to the guillotine. Just holding the head. Landwehr's doing well to get back to his feet, but he's going to get tagged in that guillotine again. Does well to avoid it. Now he tries to turn the corner. Landwehr's again, a guillotine. Landwehr driving oh, through. Good left hand. hand. Oh, and a knee. Jump knee from Landwehr. Oh, Cannon oh, knee from Karabkov. And again, Karabkov hitting the takedown. Wow. To 20 remaining round number one. Just when you think Landwehr turned around, he gets caught with a knee on the way in. Landwehr again. Working off of his back, out of half guard. Robkoff on a guillotine. Yeah, he's trying to work it. Really a head chance for a position at this point. A little more commitment. Over, if he stepped over, it's good night. Don't let him step over. He's managed to get an arm in, which is a lot safer. 
He can drop the elbow down to stop the full guillotine. Now it's, now it's a full-on guillotine. Now oh, this is good, mate. A lot of squeeze now from Karabkov. Karabkov just going to push his hips forward and he's going to go out. Yatislav Kisilov taking a close oh, look. Oh, great work. Landwehr pops his head free. Well defended by Nate Landwehr. Well, I thought it was game over because that was the perfect standard guillotine there. You see the repositioning by Vyacheslav Kiselev. Uppercut from Landwehr with the right hand. Korobkov likes to use that trip takedown every time. Oh, nice uppercut again. But he gets caught with a single. Single in the takedown, hit by Korobkov. Yeah, he ran the pipe, manages to get the takedown quite easy there. And we're throwing up his legs. Yeah, try, tried for a guillotine, but Korobkov felt it. Korobkov could not pass in the side control. Don't fight the head. Well, at least Landwehr now knows he can rock Korobkov. He'll try for a guillotine again, and just needs to free that leg. Open guard now for Landwehr. Korobkov trying to go to work with his ground and pound based wide on his knees. Left to the head, or left to the body, then left to the head. Try to go elbow, hand, hip, try to get back to his feet. Kiselev warning Landwehr, reaching on the ropes to try to elevate. Again, he's trying to push through. He's going to try and put the arm over the top of the leg and then try for a triangle, but Korobkov stands up. Korobkov trying to stay heavy, now trying to pass. Can't do so. There's the triangle attempt. He's got it, he's locked it up. He's got five seconds to finish it, John. It's very, very close and it's tight. Very tight on the oh. triangle. The gone, the end of round one. But real trouble for Mikhail Korobkov in the closing seconds of the Karabkov opening round. Korobkov just collapsed on the canvas there. He is absolutely exhausted. Well, albeit that Landwehr was in trouble, he now knows he can rock him. Karabkov, and he now knows that he can submit him. See the right hand? The left and the right on the ear, taking out the balance of Nate Landwehr. Karabkov hitting four takedowns in the opening round. Landwehr fighting through it, locking on the triangle in the closing seconds of the opening round. Karabkov not escaping, but the gong to end the opening round. Set for round number two. Second down. Out. Second down called by Vyacheslav Kiselev. Tight. Slight cut on the bridge of Landwehr's nose. Second round. Ready? Fight. Round number two. Storms to the center of the rage. Does Landwehr. We're working oh. off the jab, right hand. Nice right hand down the pipe, but he got tagged on the way in as well. One, two misses from Landwehr. Landwehr's come out with a different venom here. Korobkov throwing the deep low kick, counter outside kick from Mihail Korobkov. Oh, shh. You, you, you watch this fight and you think it's just a matter of whether attacks first. Kick caught. Nicely rolled out by Korobkov. Should have threw a knee there, Landwehr. Landwehr could not take advantage of that positional advantage. Looking for the throw that time, it did not work from Korobkov. Ah. That time it does! Yeah, he ran onto him. Big. He got suck it into that. Fishing for the guillotine again is Mihail Korobkov. Not going to get it from that position. Landwehr needs to peel that hand off. Push it to the opposite side of the head so that when he stands up he doesn't get guillotined. But luckily he's out of it. Oh, big right, big right hand. hand! And again! Another right hand! Overhand right from Korobkov! The first really rocked Landwehr. You saw him circle off of his striking line. Oh, knee to the head! Right hand misses from Landwehr. The turn that Korobkov running oh, away! He it's a left he's hand! Seen. Oh, my word! Oh, he's out! Can't he's right out! Hand. He knocks him out! And that oh, is it! My word. What a finish! He came full of enthusiasm. He got rocked himself. He got nearly submitted. And then he finished him with a knockout. Oh my word! And almost
most surreal ending sequence. Landwehr eating two massive right hands in all sorts of trouble. Then Karabkov running away, dropped by Landwehr and then finished. I think this will be ruled as a knockout, not a TKO, because Karabkov was slept at the end of round two. They show a sportsmanship from both fighters. Clarksville, stand up! Night to try! Side B, stand up! Mama! Baby! Everybody, Pippa! What's up? What's train! Has arrived! Well, there are M1 Challenge debuts, and then there are M1 Challenge debuts, and then there's the debut of Nate Landwehr. That was memorable. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 31 seconds of round two, we have a winner by the way of knockout, Nate the Train Landwehr. As I thought Nate, it was, gravity, please. a knockout I'm here with is your the winner, ruling. Nate the Train Landwehr. Wow, what a to and fro battle. He caught you a couple of times. Did you feel in any danger during that fight? Nate, what a incredible boy. Did you feel at least in one moment you were in danger? Hey, I'm a bad, bad man. If I ain't done, if I'm in it, if I'm still breathing, you ain't got a shot, baby. Nate, the train, Kalistan, I love you, baby. Yeah, love you, Russia. Я настоящий мужик, и я делюсь до самого конца, до тех пор, пока я дышу, я не сдамся, и я всегда выиграю. Спасибо, Россия. Ladies and gentlemen, a big fire up, Nate, the train, Landwehr. Make no mistake, Nate Landwehr is definitely a featherweight to watch in M1. That was a really fun fight and a really impressive finish for Nate Landwehr. Now Karabkov landing big right hands, hitting trips, hitting throws, hitting takedowns. Landwehr literally walking through everything of Karabkov. Karabkov running the pipe, hitting the single leg there. End of round number one, Landwehr locking on a really tight triangle. Kropkov did not escape it, but the round ended. Kropkov landing a huge right hand and then falling with another big right hand in round number two. And that put Landwehr in all sorts of difficulties. But then Kropkov turning his back, running, eating the left hand from Landwehr all the way through to the finish. The knockout from the ground and pound. Victorious by way of second round knockout, Nate Landwehr defeats Mikhail Korobkov.